As you can see here, you just look, uh, this would be a main drag, as you can imagine, in, in the evening, people trying to make their way home, but it is now a parking lot for uh, police cruisers and vehicles, and so what we had to do was park uh, several blocks away and get out and walk, and so uh, slowly but surely, we are starting to see city officials make their way down to the scene. I see Charles Willis uh, with United Communities Against Crime. Uh, he is here. Uh, uh, people just trying to get here and, uh, of course, send their condolences to to uh, the state troopers and also try and figure out exactly what happened here today. But as you have heard, uh, around 2.45 this afternoon, police were called here uh, to the Greyhound bus station for reports of shots fired. My police tor sources tell me uh, that uh, state troopers were out trying, uh, doing some type of law enforcement operation, perhaps training, if you will, and that uh, an individual, a suspect, opened fire on those troopers. They returned fire. We're told that suspect is dead and that, of course, a trooper lost his or her life uh, uh, here at this scene. And so uh, reaction, of course, is coming in to this very tragic incident, and we'll be bringing you that reaction as soon as we can get it, guys. Thanks so much. Uh, we appreciate that update. Uh, and we are hearing uh, from Greyhound for the very first time. Uh, in relation to the, the tragic events this afternoon. Rachel DePompa standing by in the First Alert Center. Rachel, what are you hearing from Greyhound? Well, Greyhound now says that its station is closed until further notice, and we are actively working with the authorities. They are asking you know, the customers to check on their website for updates for when service will begin again. They say they will reroute customers as, pos as soon as possible and will reissue tickets once we resume service if you are supposed to travel out of Richmond today, but again, at this point, it is obviously closed down there for now. All right, Rachel, thanks very much. Uh, again, hearing from Greyhound for the very first time following that shooting situation that unfolded about 2.30, 2.45 this afternoon. Uh, we have multiple crews again. Let's go back to Brittany McDonald. She's at VCU Medical Center. Uh, Brittany, what are you learning? Well, right now we still know that six people total have been shot. Initially, that number was four people from Richmond Ambulance Authority that has since been brought up to six. And we know the state trooper involved and the suspect have been shot and killed. But six total were, I was initially told, were being taken here to VCU Medical Center. And since the moment I arrived about an hour ago, it's been an active situation and that continues to be true. Let me give you a look at that scene. You can see that state police are on scene. Several of them have come up just within the past half an hour. Uh, so they're just multiplying in numbers here at VCU Medical Center, especially I believe knowing that a state trooper has been killed in this tragic shooting at the Greyhound bus station earlier this afternoon. Uh, you can see Richmond police are on scene. Uh, VCU police are on scene. State police. Uh, we have ambulances uh, that were all packed in here just we within still the last know hour. That six and people several total of them have, have been shot. Uh, possibly responding to this situation. So an active scene here at VCU Medical Center. I continue to have numerous people coming up to me, leaving work this afternoon, walking by, very concerned about what's going on. A lot of people don't know what's going on since this has been an active situation for the past hour or two. And I just let them know that there's no concern here at VCU Medical. If anything, there is more authority uh, here than I've seen in quite some time. But they are all, uh, the victims are being taken here to VCU Medical Center. Uh, the hospital itself has not given me a statement. I reached out to them a while ago. Uh, they have not responded specifically to me, but I can tell you that um, all hands are on deck here and hopefully getting the treatment that they need to those victims that are involved in the tragic situation. I'll continue to get some more details here for you this afternoon and update you with anything new that I learned. For now, I'll send it back to you in the Brittany, real quick before we let you go, have you seen any more vehicles, be it state troopers, RPD, ambulances coming into that area, or has it basically been, you know, the, the traffic has been calm since you got there? Yeah, Drew, I've actually been seeing a lot of state troopers coming into this area. I've seen them on a motorcycle. I've seen them uh, in their... Um, in their vehicles. So a lot of state troopers have been responding to VCU Medical Center. So I'm not sure exactly why they're coming here, but um, they are um, heading this direction as well. All right, Brittany McDonald reporting live for us at VCU Medical Center. Brittany, thank you very much for the update. Just shock and sadness reverberating throughout the city of Richmond as a result of this shooting that uh, has multiple victims and has claimed the life of a Virginia State Trooper, uh, a female civilian among the injured this afternoon. Uh, the suspect has been killed, 
but uh, again, we are we're praying for the other victims of this shooting as well, and our condolences uh, to uh, the Virginia State Police Force and to uh, the families of this law enforcement officer. We heard from Councilwoman Reva Trammell just uh, a couple of minutes ago, who called this just one of the saddest days uh, in the history of Richmond, and she expressed her concern uh, for the troopers uh, who were on scene at the Greyhound bus station conducting a training exercise when this uh, gunman just went up and shot this trooper in the chest. We don't know the motive here. We don't know what sparked this. Uh, we are awaiting a statement from police uh, to learn more about what happened uh, at around 2.45 this afternoon. Authorities continue to investigate. They are interviewing witnesses and um, We've, hear, we've just heard from Greyhound that this station is closed uh, until further notice. And again, uh, our hearts and prayers go out to Virginia State Police and the families that will be affected by this, as well as uh, the other victims from today's shooting incident. It just speaks volumes to the risk that these police officers and these state troopers and these sheriff's deputies, the risk that they take every single day, this, as we mentioned, just being a training exercise, not even responding to the type of incident that they would be training for. And this is the type of situation that unfolded from what started as a training exercise at the Greyhound Station on North Boulevard. Mike Valerio has been on North Boulevard for some time now and has been bringing us reports. We're gonna go back to Mike now for the latest out there. Mike, what can you tell us? Well, Drew, we're still waiting this Virginia State Police Conference. We don't have a time frame for when this is happening, but in terms of how the situation has changed, I'm just sort of looking over uh, my shoulder here. And uh, Dan, I'm wondering if do we have the mobility to move in over there? We just saw a canine unit scope out the scene. It's behind this white Jeep. Um, and we do have a little bit of limited mobility because we are awaiting this Virginia State Police Conference. There he is, one of the canine teams scouting the situation to make sure uh, that everything is okay and that the threat has indeed ended. That is the indication that we are getting from law enforcement sources. And I've brought it up before, and it's worth noting if you all are joining us for the first time right here, we have a Virginia State Police officer who has been fatally wounded. That Virginia trooper has been pronounced dead uh, a short time ago at Virginia Commonwealth University Hospital. Uh, another trooper who is injured and six people total hit by gunfire. We are, our main question is going to be asking Virginia State Police what the motive was here. And we've been able to whittle it down so far that this is not terror related, that law enforcement has not been targeted as far as we've been able uh, to collect the facts and the narrative of so far what happened. But as I just uh, turned away from you briefly, just to uh, take account of the latest, uh, what we're seeing right here at the scene, uh, my photojournalist and I, Dan Hefner from NBC 12, have been here since just before 3 o'clock. And as for the timeline of how this happens, we first get the information in our newsroom in South Richmond that a shooting has happened here. It's an active shooter situation, so we're going in during a situation where the suspect may or may not be down yet in order to alert people to stay away from the area and see what exactly is happening. And we come to this area, and as soon as we get in position, we see an ambulance that has uh, four police cars that are escorting it, and they're making a beeline straight out of here towards Virginia Commonwealth University Medical Center. Uh, we have now been able to determine through our sources that the ambulance was in fact cover, uh, carrying one of the troopers who needed immediate medical attention. Um, and at this moment, there are still people who are being interviewed by Virginia State Police, which has now taken the lead in this investigation. The main top brass of Virginia State Police keeping the information to a minimum in terms of how the other police officer, how the other state trooper is doing uh, with the extent of those injuries. That's another question that we're gonna be answering in the next few minutes ahead. But it is a quiet scene, a huge contrast to what we saw at three o'clock this afternoon when you couldn't hear the person directly next to you speaking. And for now, that is the latest from here. Mike Valerio, NBC 12. This is breaking news from NBC 12.
We are following a breaking news situation in Richmond. Six people were shot at the Greyhound station on North Boulevard. Two of those people were Virginia State Troopers. We have learned that one of those state troopers has died along with the shooter. Our Brittany McDonald has been at VCU Medical Center all afternoon long. She's working to find out more on the conditions of those who were critically injured, but we do know that two of those victims are in critical condition, and we also know that a female civilian has been injured. We're not sure if she's part of that critical injury group or not, but of course, Brittany.